Hey Great Drammers, Greg from GreatDrams.com here and this week we are going to be looking at Scapa, a distillery that doesn't get enough attention in my view. It's uh, I've never been to it myself but I hear it's an absolutely wonderful distillery um, and they've had a few uh, releases uh, over the last year or so including Scapa Glancer which I absolutely loved. Um, unfortunately they're retiring the 16 year old which was a favourite of many whiskey nut uh, but this is a single cask 23 year old that has been matured in a sherry cask or butt. And it was uh, distilled 21st of May 1992, bottled the 28th of July 2015. This is bottled 267 of 780 and it's 58.4% ABV. Incredibly hard to come by, only available if you go to the distillery itself, um, which is something I really admire about what shivers do that they have a suite of distillery exclusives. And all of them, I believe, apart from this one, are available in their accessible distilleries. So of the you know, uh, 12 or so distilleries they own, you can't go to all of them, like Glenkeith, um, Glenbergie, etc. They're not open to visitors, apart from trade and press. Um, but like the Glenlivet, Abelauer, etc. are, and Strathila especially, one of the most picturesque distilleries in Scotland. Um, and in those distilleries, you get access to distillery exclusives from their other distilleries. So I'm going to stop saying the word distilleries because I've said it quite a few times now. Um, but just to let you know, this one, fortunately, unfortunately, only available in Scapa. Um, and thankfully it was a present. So I'm most grateful. So. Ah, oh, on the nose, sweet toffee, honey. Molten toffee, a bit of honeycomb in there actually, that's what I was looking for, honeycomb, like a like a, a freshly broken crunchy. Oh, wow. Deep, dark fruits underpin the whole thing, but that, that crunchy honeycomb toffee note, just sublime. Sweetness, that molten toffee again. Now the fruits are really coming through. Plums, stewed pears, prunes, a uh, not apricots, raisins. Oh, they're all there. Dates. And maybe the odd sharpness from a fresh cherry as well. Ooh. This is how to do it properly. Single cask, absolute knockout. That's a beautiful whiskey. Something tells me it'll be in my top 10 by the end of the year still. And this has been recorded in June, by the way. So there's a long way to go. Nice, if you get up to Scapa, or if you have some very nice friends who do go to Scapa, somehow get this bottle. Stunning. If you do, let me know how you get on with it in the comments either below, or on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or email me, why not? Greg at greatdrams.com. Cheers.